Hello, my name is Susan Green. My business is M. Mayeth, and this is a reading for the week going forth of the 27th of November 2022. This week, I have drawn a card for self, <laughs> for our personal relationships, and for our work relationships. So where have you been drawn to and what do you need to know? Because some interesting messages coming up this week. Okay, we're working with Messenger Animal Oracle. Ta-da! And this beautiful deck is currently gearing up for a pre-release. So please connect to my website. The link is below and keep up to date with the news as it comes forth. So personal relationships this week, the hawk. This is such great energy, the hawk, focus, ambition. Okay, this is about getting clear. This is about you, okay? So remembering that this card was drawn for self. What do you need to know and understand? So if you've got dreams and they're really big dreams and then you have this self-doubt and you're like, no, I can't do that. Don't be ridiculous <laughs> or something along those lines, okay? That fear or that doubt that creates hesitancy in really stepping up and into your dreams. What's stopping you? What is the undertow that's anchoring you to prevent you from really believing in you? Okay, so the flip side of the hawk is about cynicism and sarcasm is this how you're treating yourself because if it is then you really need to take a step back and understand the why why don't you believe in you why don't you want to exist in that limitless belief structure of can do where you find the focus and the ambition often we have that vision and we have these thoughts and ideas and we flip them off and we're like no I can't do that that's ridiculous that's silly you know, in reality, all it takes is an idea. You have an idea and then you take creative, assertive action in some form to make that happen, then that is your reality all of a sudden that you're living. What do you need for yourself to make that vision that you have a reality? Is it, you know, is it about starting a new venture? Is it about challenging yourself into a new routine or lifestyle is it about moving somewhere new and starting afresh you know what is it it could be a million different things this is about you just you and what you're dealing with in life at this point in time so figure out what is possibly anchoring and creating that negative undertow of energy you know get out of that inner turmoil and into focus and ambition this here Okay, these little elements here, this means clarity. Okay, it's the wind element getting clear. And this is your sense of purpose and passion. The hawk is an amazing energy. So call in the hawk, get clear and make things happen. That sounded very demanding, didn't I? <laughs> in a nice, beautiful, gentle way, make things happen. <laughs> One step at a time. You got this. <laughs> okay, the platypus. This was about relationships okay uh personal relationships so those relationships around you that are not associated with workplace all right so the platypus um I get the sense this week that the platypus is telling you what are those inner nudges okay what are you sensing what are you feeling around the relationships that you're connected to because of, there's been such a huge transition within, I guess, Gaia in general, there is this shifting vibration and network of the grids. And within that, it seems to be changing the dynamics of friendships. Okay, so there is this ebb and flow of letting go of what's no longer resonating and moving into a space of what is. Okay, but you can like fight this or you can flow with it, okay? Everything is about choices and you can proactively work to allow yourself to be progressive in a way that is kind and loving for all parties involved, if it is possible, obviously. Okay, so the flip side of the platypus is triggers and patterning. So what this means is that those underlying unconscious belief structures and energies that 
you know, like it's like someone flipping a switch. Someone does something and something flips a switch and it just doesn't sit right. It just doesn't feel right. It's not, you know, longer like it's like you're two magnets. And, you know, if you imagine these are both magnets, they're not coming together anymore. They're sort of, you know, pushing each other apart. So if this is what's happening with you, why are you forcing it? Ask yourself, what do you need to do to get clear and to just what is that inner sense you know, clear feeling and embracing that. This is about emotion and this is about healing. So how do you move in to get clear with your emotions and embrace that healing path forward? Because sometimes the steps are really difficult to take. I know firsthand how difficult these steps are to take, but you can't make something that's not working work. And that is so deeply saddening sometimes, but it is also part of your own progression and higher purpose as you move through into different vibrations and different pathways. Okay, some people are meant to stay together, and some meant to come apart. But you know, that doesn't mean in the future you won't come back together. I've certainly had friendships that have been separated over many years and they've come back and we're stronger than ever. So, you know, just consider what you need. What is your gut telling you? What is your mind telling you? Are you aligned? Are you not aligned? You know, just do what's right for you at this time. It's really important because this transition is big in the world at the moment. So what do you have to do to work with that more fully for yourself? Okay, the cow, your work relationships. <laughs> okay, work relationships. This is um, <laughs> where are you pushing too hard? Where are you giving where you've just given so much that is just sending you into overwhelm and anxiety? Okay, so if it feels good, keep doing that. But if you're finding that you're overworking and you're giving yourself and you're grinding that energy over and over and over every day to a point where you're just anxious, exhausted and unable to live I guess you know like go home and let go and be free with your family your friends yourself and find that inner peace you know if you're just carrying work with you everywhere because it's so much then you really need to restructure what you're doing that's what the cow is telling you okay again this is about getting clear and healing it's about moving into a space where you are existing in oneness, okay? So the good side of this is perseverance and oneness. When you are in a good place at work, you're doing what you need to do for work and you love your work or you don't love your work, but you're going and you're okay with what you're doing, <laughs> whatever the situation is for you, the relationships around you. But if you've got someone who's constantly at you and pushing for more and you're not able to give that, then that makes life really difficult and boundaries have to be set. OK, you have a purpose, you have a right, you have a choice to make. OK, these are things that you can do, you know, and if sometimes the situation is difficult, I don't know. But the cow is saying if you're in a situation with this constant overwhelm and anxiety because of the relationships at work, what do you have to do to create the shifts and allow for oneness come back in okay sometimes it's a bit of a shuffle some decisions have to be made some boundaries have to be set hmm, who knows there's about a million different situations that could be going on here I'm just telling you what the cow wants you to know <laughs> so hawk for the self platypus for your personal relationships and the cow for your work relationships boom boom have a great week much love to you. Stay tuned, stay posted because this deck is going to happen very soon. And I'm really excited. We're looking at a release date um, where you'll receive your cards in January at this point. Okay. So that's the best I can tell you at this point, but very soon there'll be a lot more coming forth. So sign up to the website, receive my weekly email, and you'll have all the updates you need to stay in tune with what's going on. Yay. Bye for now.